Hello, I'm Graham from Summer Supernatural, and this is the ghost of Percy Lambert. On a misty night in Surrey, a security guard shouts at a figure to stop. The figure silently moves away, disappearing into the mist towards the river. The security guard decided to follow the nocturnal figure, wondering what he was doing walking around the area at night. After walking a few yards, the guard could see the figure no more, as if it disappeared into the cold night air. Who was this figure that security guard had seen walking through the misty air? The figure wore a racing leather helmet and goggles, and through this the guard knew exactly who the ghostly figure was. Standing in the cold, misty air, the guard knew that this was in fact Percy Lambert, a man who was written into folklore and legends regarding the famous Britain's racetrack in Weybridge, England. On the morning of the 31st of October, the weather was damp and misty, but by nine o'clock the mist had cleared and it turned into a nice autumn day. Percy Lambert, or Pearly as he was also known, sat at the wheel of his famous Talbot racing car, ready to take on the famous Britain's racetrack once again. Britain's racetrack was the brainchild of Hugh Lock King, who lived in a big manor house in nearby Weybridge, close to St George's Hill. For generations, Lock King's family owned lots of estates around Weybridge and the surrounding country. Lock King thought that the British car makers should have the facility to develop their cars and rather than their counterparts in Europe. But the British government was against the car and limited its speed to 20 miles per hour. And half of that in towns. Fulton's racetrack was open on the 6th of July 1907, now being a two and three quarter mile oval track where before it was once a peaceful meadow. By October 1913, most of the drivers had become national heroes, and this included, per included Percy Lambert himself. In the previous February, Percy had broken a record to be the first driver to achieve over 100 miles per hour. The record was then broken by a Frenchman, and it was now the standard at speed of 107.95 miles per hour. Percy was a clean living man, he never smoked or drank alcohol and was very dedicated to motor racing. On this October morning, Percy sat in his car on the start line, adamant that his car would once again break the record and bring success to his sponsors again. In the early days of speed, tyres were a problem on the development of pneumatic tyres, not being able to keep up with the rate the cars were developing. On the previous Monday, Percy had suffered a tyre blowout on his car and had been very lucky to survive. On this day, Percy was having brand new tyres fitted on his car. A lot of special measures had been added to the wheels to stop the tyres moving around on the rims. No detail had been un left uncovered and the mechanics had checked and double checked everything for this attempt. At around 9.20am, Percy roared off the start line to start on his record attempt and to beat the Frenchman's record, engine roaring and Percy and his goggles hunched over the wheel. All was going well, the car raced around the track after half an hour. Percy had managed to cover 20 laps and spectators stood to watch. Percy raced around the famous banks. Percy was averaging a record breaking 110.4 miles per hour when on the 21st lap he was around he rounded the famous members' bend, and the silence was shattered by a loud bang, which was followed by an eerie silence. The eerie silence was then broken by a loud clatter, and the timekeeper, who knew Percy well, knew that he in fact burst a tyre. A spectator by the name of William McIntyre was an unfortunate spectator who more or less saw what happened to Percy. As Mr Lambert came round the bend beyond the hill, he travelled to the top of the bank, one of his tyres burst, reported Mr McIntyre. He swerved halfway down the bank and somewhat reduced his speed. The car then travelled irregularly for several yards and then turned upwards and swerved to the top of the bank, the wheels going over the cement and onto the sand the other side. Mr McIntyre was witnessing a man fighting for his life like a writhing monster on a wall of death. Those who rushed to the scene found Percy laying face down, unconscious but still breathing, and his car was upright against the support of the bridge. 
Percy was then, was then taken to the Weybridge Cottage Hospital in Brooklyn Zones Ambulance, but life was declared extinct during the first few minutes of the journey. The body of Percy Lambert was taken to Brompton Cemetery and a spoke wheel marks his grave. It was announced after Percy had broken a record and after dedicating his life to the sport he had intended to retire. It wasn't long before sightings of the ghost of Percy were reported walking a racetrack and even reports of a ghostly car racing around a track up onto the banks with Percy driving the car had been seen and then suddenly disappearing. Thanks for listening. If you like this, like this please don't forget to comment, like and subscribe. Are you scared?